this is how hard I work at the church. I am now in the midst of going full blast, all steam engines ahead, 100% effort, and getting this room all set up for the event of the day tomorrow. We actually, in our church, now I had nothing to do with it, obviously, being a young man like I am. But we have a hundred-year-old lady in our church that we're going to help celebrate her birthday tomorrow, 100 years old tomorrow. You know, nurturing my own spiritual stamina. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just that I'm a, kind of an efficiency expert, you know. I'm always looking for the best way to do whatever task I'm involved in at the moment. And right now, sitting here is a pretty good way to do this. I, it's not straining me much at all. You know, I might have to, you know, cross the other leg once in a while and things like that. For the most part, it's just pretty good life. The Lord has carved out for me here our church. God takes care of his own. And this isn't even to happen. When we get to heaven, we can't even imagine what he's got in mind for us. It says in his word. It says that in the word of the only God who cannot lie. Because he's so good. You wish you had a spouse like that, huh? That's a whole other uh, situation there. Right now, we're involved in event set up here at the church. Full speed ahead here. Yeah. I have to pace myself. If I get to going too fast, I might think it would be time to stop and take a nap or something. Sometimes I wake up cranky from a nap. It's sort of unpredictable. I, we don't want to go there until we, until we get this all done, you know. I tried to find some people in the church that would help me with this project today, but they were all too busy, so I'm just sitting here by myself. Listen to Anthony Berger play some beautiful piano music on his on his boombox. That may not be the proper term for an electronic playback device in the church kitchen, but that's what I know it is. So I haven't checked out the theology on the word boombox. I'll look into that someday. I've got forever. I'm, I'm an eternal soul, so I have to do it now says that whatsoever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Whatever you is bound on earth will be bound in heaven. So pray for freedom from all kinds of loosening and binding. Just do God's will. And you'll find that life gets to be pretty good. Look at me. hardest thing I'll have to do is tell everybody tomorrow how hard I work setting all this up, you know. I'm just looking to see if... Well, we're not getting a data connection over here so I can look at my list, Bonnie. How am I supposed to know? There they are. Twelve tables, extra chairs. Two six-foot tables in front of the first basketball hoop on the left. That's over there. One six-foot table and lattice arch in center on the wall across from the kitchen. One big chair from Doug's office for Hazel. Oh, I got to go get that yet. Hey, my work cut out for me. Uh, and a six-foot 
two two eight foot tables in front of the kitchen, and a six foot table right smack dab in the way of the door of everything. We got to get all these tables in and out of that closet. And we do have Bonnie's cell number if we need her help. I wonder how many tables she could carry at once. Let's get her down here. Does she like Red Bull? No idea. I doubt it. Oh, I like this. How great thou art. This is Anthony Berger. I'm not playing the piano. It's how great thou art, how great thou art. Sorry, I was trying to think there. Puts a lot of pressure on me to have to think. Usually I like to just take my mind out of gear and coast, you know. 